Dave. It's Dave Johal once Hello. again for the Boxing Voice. Pleased to be joined this time by Australian heavyweight training straight out of uh, Las Vegas by Kevin, by way of Kevin Barry, Joe Goodall. How are you, Joe? Hey, Dave. I'm doing good. Thank you. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, um, straight in there then. Kevin is training a, a, another Joe, another heavyweight. How did you come yeah. to um, put yourself in, 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 uh, in Kevin's path? Um, yeah, uh, basically, uh, I had a shoulder surgery um, about probably two and a half years ago. I had a fight after uh, shoulder surgery, and um, I got a new manager in that uh, time period as well. And um, he brought to me this opportunity, and I was just like, Kevin Barry in uh, Las Vegas. So uh, I just jumped at it, to be honest. Yeah. And um, yeah, I've, I've been loving it over here. It's been, um, it's been a lot of fun training with Kev. Um, it's it, the change of scenery too has been good for me. Um, uh, I'm eating a lot more food. Um, I'm, I'm doing a, a much more uh, a variety of training here. Um, my body's loving it. Uh, yeah, singing. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm right in saying that in terms of the history of Australian and, and um, the Commonwealth Games, the Olympics, you're, you, you, you've won quite a few accolades, one being Australia's uh, medal um, at, the, at the Commonwealth Games, the first one in over 20 years. Fair to say that's a massive accolade for you, isn't it, and your country? Yeah, I did. I had a good, um, good amateur career. Uh, I think it, I, I probably, I, I might have stayed amateur a bit too long. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I won a silver medal at the games. I think I was the first super uh, Australian super heavyweight ever. Um, I won a bronze medal at the World Championships uh, in 2017, which is the first medal for Australia, I think, ever in the super heavyweights, and uh, the first one in 26 years. Um, I won a, a bunch of tournaments overseas, uh, Felix Stam tournament. Um, I think that was previously won by Lennox Lewis. So <clears throat> I figure, I figure I, w I was a, a solid amateur and, um, most, most good amateurs are good pros, uh, as you know. So, um, you know, that, that's why I turned pro because I, I figure I can really, um, really make a run and really make a shake at this and, uh. That's my goal to, to win a heavyweight title. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no better man to do it with than, than Kevin, who's already been in the corner of uh, former world champion Joe Parker. Um, he's, you know, been in, the, been in so many heavyweight fights uh, across, the, across different countries. So what kind of experience are you learning with him? What, just working with Kevin? Yeah, Kevin's um, he's a very, very experienced, very knowledgeable trainer. Like, <clears throat> you know, he's been <clears throat> he's been in the game as well. Like, he's he's had a a silver medal at the Olympics. Like, you can't get much uh, <clears throat> more real experience than that. Um, yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been wonders working with Kevin. Um, I, have, I feel like my my jab's gotten a lot better. Um, I'm, I'm planting my feet more and sitting down on my punches. Uh, I feel like my straight punches have gotten a lot better here. Um, just, I think it's because um, we're doing a lot more pads. Um, uh -huh. I, never, I never used to do pads so often. So uh, that, that's been a good change. And, like, he's, he's very, uh, very good in the way he tweaks training too. Like, he's very experienced in that manner too. Like... I'll, you know, I'll go for a run at 5.30 or I'll box for, for two hours at 11. And then <clears throat> depending on the day, depending on how he, how he looks at me, either I'll be doing a uh, an hour conditioning in the, in the afternoon or I'll be jumping in the pool doing a pool session or the conditioning won't be as tough. It'll be uh, more of a mobility session. Just little things like that that – um. That, that make a big difference in the, the cumulative training. Yeah. 
I'm, uh, I've been really enjoying it here. My body's just singing, <laughs> getting stronger every week. Um, yeah, just really loving it. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? It's fair to say being in a, in a fighting city like Las Vegas, um, because sometimes Australia is, is, is known for the cricket. Um, it's known for a load of other stuff, but boxing wouldn't be on that list, would it, in terms of when you say Australia and boxing, it's more to do with, being honest, it's more to do with cricket. And, and I suppose being in Vegas, that's bringing the best out of you. Yeah, 100%. Like this, this is the boxing capital of the world. This is the boxing mecca, you know, like this, this is it. This is where it's at. Um, it's, it's really excited being here. Like it, back in Australia, um, it's a very small community and, um, you know, it's, um, it's got a, it's a different, it's a different vibe. It's, it's a different culture to, to out here when they just went, the way they act when they come in the gyms, when they do sparring, it's very much more professional out here. And um, I feel I, I vibe with that. I, um, I like professionalism. I think this sport uh, is a professional sport. It, it should be treated that way because, you know, what, what we do in, what we do in the ring, although, although it's very, you know, wild in nature, um, when you mix it with professionalism, that's when you get the best results. And um, if you're not trying to get the best results in this sport, you know, you you best be doing something else. Yeah, I mean, another person you you shared the ring with um, in the amateur game was uh, was Joe Joyce. What was that like fighting Joe Joyce? I mean, seeing his rise now in, in the heavyweight division. Yeah, I fought him um, in the Commonwealth Games final. Um, yeah, I, I I remember that day. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I did a. I, I don't want to make any excuses. He he, uh, he he beat me. Um, he he beat me pretty easy, like a, a unanimous decision, in three rounds. I was probably a little bit immature. Um, I, put, I probably only had like three months of full time, uh, full time training under my belt. He probably uh, on the GB GB team for a couple of years or whatever. So um, I think it, uh, physically, <clears throat> it was just a. A bit, a bit too much for me at that, at that stage. I was only 22. He was probably 29 or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I had a, I had an ice bath, uh, ice bath the day before, and I don't usually do ice bath to recover. He didn't fight. He got the bye, and um, I just couldn't get going that day. Couldn't get my energy levels up. But he's, you know, he, he's a freak. I trained with um, um, uh him and did a load of sparring with him, Fraser Clark, um, all those boys and at Team GB in 2015, okay. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. T- at the start of 2015. And, um, you know, he, he's a freak. He's a, he, physically, he, he's, um, he's so much stronger, so much fitter than pretty much all the other heavyweights. Um, yeah. He's a physical specimen. That's for sure. And, and you've beaten, um, a Jaguar as well, haven't you? Someone who's, who's making a, a massive noise on the heavyweight division. Um, FA a Jaguar. Um, and yeah. what, what, what's, that, what's that like for your career, knowing that you, you've beaten people like a Jaguar, who's, who's again making a lot of noise? Okay, you lost to Joe Joy. You, you can mix it with the big boys. Does that, does that give you a lot of confidence as well, considering where the heavyweight division yeah. is? Yeah, 100%. I fought, I fought and beat Effie in the... Um, Commonwealth Games um, Super Heavyweight uh, semi-final. Um, yeah, like I said before, most good amateurs are good pros. Like you look at Effie, like he won a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. I'm not sure how he did in the other tournaments, but that's a um, significant tournament. And now he's doing well in the pros. So um, it just goes to show mo- most top amateurs usually end up being the top pros. Like... Uh, where the elite athletes are, are, are the boxing game, so I, I figure I, I can I can do the same. I just got a you know I got got my opportunity now, and um you know I'm just planning to make the most of it. So, so going on to your career, then when are you out in action next? Because you've had a, a a very good run so far, unbeaten, most wins coming by by way of knockout. When are you when are you out in action next? Sorry, let me rephrase. When are you out in action next, Joe? Um, 
Uh, my manager, St- Steve Scanlon, is uh, trying to line something up in um, November. Hopefully um, with uh, No Limit Boxing. Um, I think that's a show in Brisbane in, I think it's the 14th of uh, November, but don't don't quote me on any of this. But um, yeah, he, he's just uh, talking to Matt Rose and the No Limit Boys. And um, yeah, just 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 seeing what comes up. That's that's the aim. I have to go back to Australia and um, get uh, get some visas sorted out, and hopefully I'll be back here. Uh, go back, get my visa sorted out. Hopefully I have a fight, and then come back here. That's the plan, anyway. It'll be a great show if we if we can see yourself, Tim Tazu on a card. Um, Tim fighting for a world title. Um, yourself showcasing as well. We're almost there, aren't we, with Tim? Uh, almost uh, knocking on the door of a world title and an all Australian showdown. Yeah, hundred percent. Tim's doing. Um, Tim's doing so well here. Uh, T- Tim's a good uh, a friend of mine, but uh, <laughs> he beat two of my other good mates, uh, Jeff Horn and uh, uh, Dennis Hogan. <laughs> so, no, uh, but he he really is doing well. Um, Tim, he's on the cu- he's on the cusp of that world title. I hope he. I hope he gets it. It's good for Australian boxing, and um, I really believe he deserves it. He he's very professional too, and he works really, really hard. Brilliant. Are you going to be watching? Uh, well, two fights. I want your opinion. I've already asked Kevin a few weeks ago what his opinions were. So we've got Usyk versus sorry Joshua versus Usyk first, September twenty fifth from uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, what what are your thoughts on that? Do you think Joshua will win convincingly? He's trimmed down a lot, hasn't he, Joe? Uh, Usyk versus Joshua. Um, yeah. That's a yeah, it's a, it's a crazy fight. Um, yeah, he looks like he's trimmed down a lot, uh, which I think is a good thing. Like uh, he boxed very well um, when he trimmed down for Andy Ruiz. Um, yeah, it's it's a tough one. I think I think Joshua is just a bit too big and strong. Um, but you know, you never know in uh, heavyweight boxing. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, one one point one know. punch can change it all. Um, and Fury versus Wilder three. What are your thoughts on that one? So October 9th, the press conference I believe was yesterday. Uh, all systems are go. Um, what 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 do you think? Do you think Fury wins as convincingly as last time, or do you think don't count Wilder out? Um, you you definitely you can never count Wilder out. Like. You seen that um, that punch he did against uh, um, uh, what was his name? Ortiz, uh, uh, Dominic Brazil. Yeah, Ortiz. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, but both of those guys. <laughs> yeah, it's it, he's got crazy power. You cannot um, you cannot knock him and, and and count him out. I think I uh, I thought uh, he won the first fight, Wilder. Just, just given he was, he was the aggressor coming forward in his home city or home country, um, <clears throat> you know the second fight Fury Fury dominated and beat him up pretty bad. So I think I think Fury for the third one, just because you know he he beat him so dominantly that I I can't see him coming back from that. You know, like his confidence will, will be shaken from that. Um, it was supposed to be a quick turnaround, and then there was a lot of scuffling with the with the the bodies and whatnot. Um, yeah, I can't see him. <clears throat> I can't see him um, um, being being the same, having the same confidence uh, in his power and that kind of thing. But um, you know, it's this is heavyweight boxing, man. Anything can happen, and if 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 anything can happen, and 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 you know, sparks fly. Wild is the man to do it. So, you know, that's, that's why we all watch this. This is, this is exciting stuff. Anything can happen. Absolutely. Don't bet on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we'd love to see you, actually, over in, over in the UK. Do you, do you keep an eye on, uh, on up-and-coming heavyweights everywhere, or do you just focus on you yourself personally? Because the UK's got a massive following as well, hasn't it, when it comes to boxing? As big as, the, as, big as America, you could argue, right? Yeah, for sure. It's 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 gotten a lot bigger in the UK as well. Um, uh, like I, I know uh, of a few other heavyweights in the UK, <clears throat> mainly uh, like 
I like to watch the little guys too, like um, Josh Taylor's doing well. He, uh, like all the guys that I train with from Team GB, it's um, when they do well, it's uh, it, it really like opens my eye to that whole uh, amateur GB system. I think they, you know, they got a good system there, very professional, and they pr- they produce a, lo- a lot of medals for England. So, they produce a lot of me- medals, <clears throat> make good amateurs. Usually, the good amateurs end up being the top pros. Yeah. So, um, a lot of a lot of those boys out of there, um, I like watching. Uh, are very skilled. Like, uh, yeah, Josh Taylor, uh, Joe Cordina. I like watching him. Um, even Josh Kelly, he's a bit of a yeah. freak too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so before we just wrap this up, then um, have you got any messages for the fans? And, and um, well, so you're saying that we're we're possibly looking at November the 14th. So you'll keep us updated with that. But if you just uh, let people know yeah. where we can follow you as well, where can we follow your journey? Yeah, uh, J- Joe Goodall Boxer on Instagram. Um. um I th- you can add me on Facebook, uh, Joseph Goodall too. Um, I probably should make another uh, another Facebook fan page. But, um, yeah, uh, the aim for is November, but <clears throat> you know, Dempsey McKean's uh, d- just going to the UK and and you know he's sparring Joshua for Usyk and all that. I'm not sure, like he he's really nothing like Usyk, but um, I guess he's Southpaw. That's the only similarity. But he, he's calling out Joseph Parker and all these people saying <clears throat> he needs uh, like two, he wants two tune ups fights before he fights Parker and this type of thing. You know, like if if there ever was a tune up fight, uh, I'm Dempsey McKean, I'm your man. Like uh, you, you're 19 and 0, I'm 7 and 0. I fought once in three years. You know, I'm your man. Let's Let's do it. Yeah, because he, he, he. If you, if you want to really, fight Parker, I'm your perfect yeah. team-up fight. Yeah, he hasn't really mentioned you as much, has he? No, 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 no. Oh, we we'll, no. we'll spot a spot a few times in Australia, and yeah, so 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 you know, like. You, you, you call out Parker and you want two tune-up fights, it makes sense. I've only fought uh, once in three years and I'm 7-0, and oh, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> I've been you training here, I'm in good shape. Yeah. <laughs> tell, you tell Eddie or Frank Warren <laughs> I'll fight <laughs> you for a tune-up fight, no problem. But I'll tell you, if he fights me for a tune-up fight, he won't fight Parker. <laughs> You'd have to get past you first, yeah. So, uh, Eddie, um, you said you wanted to mention some, some of your sponsors as well, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd just like to thank, um, you know, Steve, Steve Scanlon for, for giving me the opportunity and getting me here. Um, Hannah Lawyers, Technology People, and um, IBC Recruitment. Without all those guys to help, you know, this wouldn't be possible and I couldn't be here for sure my career over here. So uh, thank you, you guys. Uh, I just got them on my back of my shirt. I'll just turn around. Yeah, yeah, go for it, mate. You see that? Yep. Yeah. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. So, um, yeah, the, those guys got my back. They, um, they've put a lot of, you know, a lot of support in me and a lot of time. And, um, yeah, I'm really grateful. Brilliant. Joe, thank you once again, mate, from the Boxing Voice. Kevin and, and, uh, and Joe, let us know when you, when you are out in action. Um, and we'll be in touch as well. So good luck so far. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon, mate. Thanks very much, Dave. Thank you. Thank you, Boxing Cheers, Voice. mate. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace